It's difficult to imagine sharing ideas about buildings and spaces without using drawings. Plans, elevations, sections, and perspectives, by themselves, they're all very useful. But think how much more useful it would be if you could step into the drawings, beyond the borders of their two-dimensional frames, and also manipulate a structure as you would an object in your hands. Well, new advances in computing technology have made doing just that, creating 3D models and placing them in virtual spaces, very easy. That's why the Society of Architectural Historians launched JSAH Online to enable authors to illustrate their published scholarship with a variety of media, including video, audio recordings, zoomable color photography, panoramic photography, direct links to locations in Google Maps, and 3D models, our subject here. And so, let's take a look at the basic steps for making three-dimensional models and preparing them for publication. Our guide will be Gabe Alvaro, the Publishing Technology Manager for Journal and Digital Publishing at the University of California Press. In the next few minutes, Gabe will talk us through the steps while we watch a view of his computer desktop. Hi, this is Gabe Alvaro. This tutorial will show you how to place and display a three-dimensional model within Google Earth. You will need to have the latest version of SketchUp, Google's free three-dimensional desktop software. You will also need to have Google Earth, Google's free Earth browser software. Both of these applications can be downloaded for free from Google. First, launch Google SketchUp, as I have done here. You are highly encouraged to create your 3D models directly from within Google SketchUp. You may find it useful, however, to import files from other 3D modeling applications, such as CAD. It is recommended that 3D models that have been created with CAD software be saved as DAE or 3DS files of 1 megabyte or less and then imported into Google SketchUp. We are going to import a 3D model of a little garden shed that I have saved as a 3D studio file into SketchUp. From the File menu, select Import. Select the file on your hard drive that you wish to import. Adjust your camera if necessary to get a better view of your model. Now launch Google Earth. Navigate to the area on the globe where you will position your model. I'm going to place my garden shed on the roof of the building where the offices of the University of California Press are located in Berkeley. It is best to set the view directly over your placement location. Now, go back into SketchUp. Select the Get Current View icon from the icon bar. This will place the location that you just prepared in Google Earth under your model in Google SketchUp. You can now finally position your model on the location plane using SketchUp's Move and Camera tools. When you are satisfied, click the Place Model icon. This will place your model into Google Earth. You are now ready to save your Google Earth model as a file in the KMZ file format. From the File menu in Google Earth, select Save and then Save Place As. Name your file and save it to your computer's hard drive in the KMZ format.
You can now share and send this KMZ file to others so that they can open and view your 3D model in Google Earth. KMZ is also the format for the 3D models that you submit to illustrate your article. On the website for the Society of Architectural Historians, you'll find the full Notes to Contributors, which includes guidelines and specifications for preparing your multimedia, other illustrations and text, along with instructions for submitting them to the Online Manuscript Management System.